What's up everybody? I'm Amra. This is Amra's Logic. Got a new video for you today. A very happy video for you today. NFC update. You see it. The G stands for greatness. Never forget it. The Green Bay Packers have just finished washing their rivals, the Chicago Bears, 35-16. And this game had a lot of playoff implications for both teams. The Packers were looking to to secure the number one overall seed in the NFC, which means they would be the only team to get a bye, which is awesome. And the Bears were fighting to beat the Packers to get into the playoffs, but they also had alternate means of getting in, as, as we saw, like Arizona losing and things of that nature to go in the Bears' direction. So they'll be in the playoffs. But I don't care about the Bears. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm not from Chicago, so who cares what, what they got going on? I'm going to tell you what we got going on. What we got going on is the greatest quarterback to ever touch a football, period. Period. And Aaron Rodgers with number one overall seed going into the playoffs with the bye. We have a lot of rest, and this is our chance to get him the second Super Bowl that he deserves to cement his legacy. This is the playoff run for Aaron Rodgers. This is the time. This man had ticked about 47 touchdowns or somewhere in that nature. Almost almost a 50-piece on touchdowns with really one receiver, respectfully, to the rest of them. Dude, Devontae Adams is an all-around just monster. Valdez Scantlin has his moments. Lazar has his moments, but none of them are a true number two. Let's just be clear. I like Tanya. He's solid. But uh, we, we have a good running game. We got a receiver. And that's what's going to take us to the promised land and to the Super Bowl. Now, if some of those other guys can step up, like uh, uh, Marquez, Valdez, Scantlin, and not dropping wide open touchdowns and other people making plays like Lazar, we'll be okay. But it's going to come down to the others, as Shaq says of basketball, to step up to get us to where we need to go. And to be honest, if my, my perfect scenario on our path to the Super Bowl would be to beat Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They're stacked. They got a deep team, and I feel like we need to be the team to put them out. We need to be the team to end Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this year. That's the type of time I'm on right now. I'm charged. Packers out here, that we just smoked the, the Bears to show why we're the number one overall seed. Now we need to go ahead, get this rest, watch film tape, and come in with a good, sound, defensive game plan to stop whoever we're going to face. Our defense is key to our ascension and getting to the Super Bowl, which we will get to, but there's things that need to fall into place. And I'm not going to, I don't care about matchups. It shouldn't matter who we play. We got Aaron Rodgers. It shouldn't matter who we play. I don't care. We need to just get it done. I don't want to, all that, that, that matchups and all that, that's coward shit. Like, you beat whoever, beat the hardest team, so that way it's no excuses. We want Tampa Bay. We want the Saints. We don't care. We want them all. We want smoke. It's time. The Packers need to get my boy a Super Bowl, man. Like, it's too many people not even on his level. Ben Roethlisberger, Peyton Manning, uh, Eli Manning. They got two chips. And Aaron Rodgers don't have two chips. Are you kidding me? It's time. Let's go, Packers. Let's get this chip. Tired of all this foolishness. And I don't even care who's in the AFC. It don't matter. They can't beat us. KC, we, we'll whoop y'all too. What's good? Aaron Rodgers need to cement his legacy this year. I'm putting pressure on the Packers. Let's go. We got the greatest quarterback ever with only one championship is a travesty. A true travesty. Let this playoff run be the, the playoff run that separates and elevates Aaron Rodgers into that 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 top top tier realm of quarterbacks and he needs a second championship to do that and I believe this team is equipped to do that we have a great running back Aaron Jones we got a great receiver Devontae Adams we got the best quarterback ever Aaron Rodgers we got a sound defense we we got we got good cornerbacks we got solid pass rushes we have a good good team I'm not going to say we're great but we have a really really good team and we can beat anybody and I think we showed a lot of poise today. And when the Bears started coming back and after that Valdez Scantlin drop, kind of switched momentum, we got things back under control and finally stopped them on a fourth and one. 
So I, I'm just excited. I, I'm glad for the Packers to go ahead and uh, get this W against uh, the Bears to secure their number one seed. So, like, it's time. The Packers have had a lot of good teams in the playoffs and then and then fizzle out or do something stupid. Let this be the year that we right all of our wrongs for, for, the, in the, for the Green Bay Packers. Let this be the year that Aaron Rodgers gets his second championship. Let him get his vindication. He has all these stats, all these numbers in one chip. That ain't enough. Let this man get his second chip. Let it be Let it be that he treats Tampa Bay on the way to this chip. He got to get Brady out of here. We, it needs to be done for the culture to get Brady and the Buccaneers out of here. Drew Brees, too, whoever. You coming up here, you getting smoke, period. And I'm not worried about Drew Brees, to be honest. In the, in the Outside of the, uh, the dome, he's useless. You get him on grass, he's, he's average. He's like Ryan Tannehill or somebody like that, average quarterback. In a dome, he's on Aaron Rodgers' level. Outside, uh, I'm not worried about I'm not worried about uh, Drew Brees. And then we all know Tom Brady's Achilles heel is pressure. Always has been, always will be. If, when we play them, we get pressure, we'll blow them out too. Because